All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you a trick to using the Ethernet IP driver in RS Links and a couple different setups you can actually use. Uh, I figured that this was something I was setting up myself, so why not actually share this information? So uh, when it comes down to it, again, we are using RS Links Enterprise or RS Links Classic. I'm sorry, so RS Links Classic, and we're using that, and we're using the Ethernet IP driver. All right, so that's supposed to automatically detect, right? So if I add this driver real quick, and I just come over here and add the driver and add new and just add that. If I, I have the option to set at Windows default, which is 90% of what most people would actually choose. So let's actually add that real quick. So we're gonna come over here and now we have our ethernet to address. Okay, so, so you see it's supposed to automatically browse, right? So it's supposed to automatically find everything that it's supposed to find. Okay, similar to this driver right here, all I'm finding is my back plane of my computer I'm not finding anything I'm finding RS links uh, I'm finding my actually my factory talk links which I have set up for other things now I'm in my situation I'm using this uh, virtual back plane so in my virtual environment uh, just to show you real quick you normally would be using a hard computer with a either a wireless connection or an Ethernet port on the very back you may but in in my case or I'll show you exactly the way I'm set up I go into settings and I have two network adapters okay so I'm using VMware workstation and I'm using two network adapters okay so I have those set up completely different and the sky is the limit when it comes to using VMware so please this video will strictly be on exactly how to set up the Ethernet IP driver so, um, so down here you can see this driver right here is actually seeing my processor and that's actually how I'm on online with the, the PLC right now right I actually have a do I do have a PLC and I'm online with it right so you can see that this driver right here if I go to configure it's using the first port right here so if I go to my settings I'm using the very first card right and my network settings now these network settings again uh, you could be using again your your computer might not be using VMware you could be using a wireless uh, adapter or you could be using your NIC card on the back of your computer so either one you would be using right here. Point of this video is you can choose what you want to actually adapt to. You can choose what you want to use. You can use Windows default and it will not work, right? Or it has the ability to work or not work, right? It's basically the way it's set up. Um, it kind of gives it the variability. Uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. As you see right here, we did not win. However, let me come over here and actually change this to this adapter. Actually, uh, yeah, let's change it to that, that that adapter to show you that we actually can get it working. Now you see it should start actually working, but uh, the best practice to doing this is actually to click off of the driver, allow another driver to start, and then come back to the driver. And then you see it actually finds the processor it, and actually starts. So basically you're, you're starting the driver and you're, or you're stopping use of the driver and you're starting use of the driver again. So you're kind of refreshing the path, right? So just keep in mind uh, when you're doing a change to a driver, especially an Ethernet driver, um, make sure you go off of the driver and come right back on the driver. That's a couple ways to troubleshoot that. Um, again, so like right here, this one right here is not working. Now let's just say I change to the other one. If I come over here and change to this one, you're gonna see we're gonna go off of the driver and we're gonna go right back on the driver. Okay, so let's see if that works. And this one's not going to work because I, the way my virtual backplane is set up on my VMware workstation, I don't have conductivity to the pro, to actually use that. That's using my Wi-Fi, right? So now this is using my Wi-Fi, and I, I'm really not actually doing anything. So when it comes down to it, if I sit there and connect to the right adapter, right, with the right connection that I want to use for that specific driver, then I come over here and I go off of the driver and I come right back on the driver, you can see that it's working properly, right? So you can see that it's working perfectly fine. So just keep in mind a couple things when you're using the ethernet driver. And again, this was a just a quick video just, just to show you how to use the ethernet IP driver in RS Links, so uh, in RS Links Classic. So hopefully that was helpful and you guys seen a couple different ways to actually make sure and troubleshoot to make sure that your, your driver's working properly before you just stop RS Links. Uh, get frustrated and restart the computer. 
Um, just, you know, a couple of different things like that. I mean, I've been there, I've done that. Um, and these are little tricks that I do to try to help me out. So hopefully that did help you out and we'll see you guys on in the next one.